Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. In our last episode we picked up a couple of Chozo artifacts, um, an energy tank and I think a missile expansion as well. We also defeated the first of the Chozo ghosts which not a pretty sight and not particularly nice. We're going to have a look around through the rest of the Chozo ruins and see what else we can find. I know there's a few upgrades here and there, so I will pick some up and see you next time. We'll see you in a minute. Our next expansion we found in the Ruin Fountain, which is something we couldn't do a huge amount earlier on because of the poison and also we had no way of getting above the rails. Get upstairs, so you're gonna need to just you know stop screwing up my controls. There we go. Hopefully, this should pop us out. There we go. No, fail. Forgot to cling onto the rail. Never mind. There we go. <coughs> Got the rail this time round. another missile expansion. Lovely. It's picked up a, another five, I think. Should make things a little bit easier for the future. Right, next upgrade. See you in a minute. So, our next upgrade is in the gathering hall. Uh, we could see it before. It's the little missile expansion up there. We just couldn't get to it because we didn't have double jump capability. I think, anyway. I assume that's what the reasoning behind it. However, it is still locked behind the door as well, so what is this? Structural weakness, sandstone. Okay, that's a basic morph ball. Morph ball bomb. So there's another missile expansion. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Whee! It's a good job Samus doesn't take falling damage, really. Um, so that's the next upgrade done. We're going to head back towards... Um, probably back towards the overworld, um, maybe a bit deeper into the Chozo Ruins. We do have something that we need to do here and there, and there's a section over by the Ruined Shrine which we couldn't get to before. I think the Ruined Shrine is where we got ourselves the charge beam before. So we're going to go pick that up now, see you in a second. Yep, so a bit more exploration for us now, we're in the Ruined Shrine. We couldn't get up the side before because we didn't have the ability to well, get up half pipes, which we can now, thanks to our boost ball upgrade. Oh, and I can hear an upgrade in here. Another missile expansion, excellent. Didn't expect to find that, to be honest with you, but you know, it's always nice. Grab that, and then we need to go up the other side. So we can use our spider ball upgrade to get across the to the other side of the room. Just gonna fail at this a couple of times. There we go. Get ourselves through the what I assume is a burrowed hole. Hole. And there we go. Use the spider ball to get us across to the top. fractures can be seen on the surface of this brimstone pillar. Brimstone. What can I do with brimstone? Not missiles apparently. What did that flash? Did that actually flash red? Yeah, it's taking damage. Maybe, um... Do 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 do. Maybe... A super missile will do the job. Yep. Yeah, that look, kind of looks like it did something, didn't it? Let's get upstairs and see if we can get a bit closer and see what we can find up there. Oh, for God's sake. That just did not go right at all. 
does make me wonder if we're actually supposed to be going this way yet, but, uh, you know, it's the great thing about the Metroid games, you get to explore these directions as you unlock power-ups and find that, you know, there was actually no point in coming the way that you were going for a little while, but never mind. We will get there. Um, we've got three more. Oh, there we go. What's this? No longer provides structural support. Yep, let's do the same thing with this one. This one. And this one. I was expecting more to happen. I missed something. Figure you no long no longer provide structural support means it collapse on us, but apparently no. Ah there we go. <coughs> Just need a little bit extra weight. Kind of makes Samus. I don't know. I'm guessing it's the power armor. It makes her a bit heavier. And we're gonna have to repeat this, aren't we? Oh crap! With some new enemy. Ow! Shit! Not particularly strong new enemy. Just irritating. It's a new form of puffer. Plated Puffer. Mutated Puffer with reinforced epidermis. Phase on exposure has created a mutant strain of Puffers on Talon 4. They have developed plated skin, making them harder to burst. Concussive weapons can still do the job, however. The gas within the Plated Puffer is just as deadly as that within their cousins. Take those out. So, the other problem now is those Oculuses are going to get in the way a little bit of our super missiles. Although apparently not that one, which is good. And apparently we're also going to be subject to more than one wave of puffers, so let's get up the whole platform away from them. All our missile expansions to good use, eh? There you go, bring it down another level. Which, of course, unlocks the puffers again. Repeat the process. wave, I'm not going to have enough missiles to do a fourth. And there you go. There's something up here. The wave buster. Oh, excellent, that's our next missile upgrade. time it's the super missile equivalent of the wave beam which we can use with this so we charge up the wave beam as we did before and then fire fortunately as you can see we can't fire it for long there we go and I think I'm gonna need a slight upgrade to be able to get through a walk tree area smoothly so I'm going to pause the video, we'll pick it up a little bit closer to Talon 4, see you in a minute. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Um, I decided to pick it up at the furnace because I had a scan data come up and say that there was a, some sort of climate anomaly here in the antechamber and the only way to get to the antechamber that I know of at the moment is through the furnace. So we're going to go and explore that, put our upgrade hunt on hold for now, we've got quite a few, you know, from the last, um, from the last couple of videos. So we'll use those for now and we'll see what else we can find on the way through. Very quickly slide through here. And there's something that we can't use yet. That's the white door. So for now let's take out these beetles. Uh, did I pick this up last time? I did not. 
chosen script translated. What is this otherworldly pestilence that infests this land, seeking out life in its blind need for corruption? And where did the meteor that brought it originate? Was it crafted by alien hands? Or is it the, a roving chunk of a planet that suffered a violent end? Our minds quail in horror at the thought that long ago, in some corner of the universe, ice yet unseen by our eyes, an entire planet was perhaps once coated with this great poison. Whatever cataclysm may have ruptured that doomed place must have indeed been mighty. And if other meteors from it spread through space, bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe, we hold fast to the hope that this is not so, that the only surviving remnants of this evil are here on Talon 4. Then at least there is hope for its eradication. We've got some sort of new creature up there. <clears throat> Plated Parasite, hardy member of the Parasite family, invulnerable to most weaponry. A cousin to the Parasite, these features are known for their amazing resilience. Field studies suggest a weakness to the Morph Ball delivered bomb systems. So, we're going to have a quick look around on this little section and see what we can find. Now, I think we'll take the Morph Ball Tunnel and see, kind of wander our way back here a bit later on. And then we can get up there, I'm just not entirely sure how at the moment. I can hear an upgrade in here. Somewhere. We haven't been in here before. Where is this? The crossway. There's a rail system up there. So we're going to need to be using our boost ball. up here for now. We can't get through the white doors. That's through here, where can we go? No, this is where we came in. Idiot. Right, idiot, yes. entries. What do we got? Chose a script translated. The entrusted one, if you read these words then our hope has not been in vain. Your path is fraught with danger. Monstrosities beyond description lurk in the shadows, starving, hunting for prey, searching for ways to quench the poisonous urges that bloom in their brains. Some of these are shrewd, but they are blinded by their evil designs, believing in the black promise of the great poison. They seek to harness it for their own ends. It is these that are la that at least the greatest danger. When you rid the universe of these creatures, you will be the true and trusted one. None know if our temple, the cradle, will provo prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever. For now, it wraps it around the abomination, cutting it off from the world above. However, we believe the power of the cipher, which has been produced by linking the twelve artifacts, should be strong enough. The fate of this world is now left to the one who will collect all the artifacts in the future. The time when the entrusted one knows is approaching. Many Chozo are gifted with the distant sight, and even more begin to learn it as our harmonization with the universe becomes more and more complete. We peer forward, seeing prophecy in the ripples of the water, hearing rumors of coming days on the breath of the wind. Though we celebrate the distant sight, many of these visions are dark, the worst of the prophecies, and the most common, tells of the coming of the worm. Born from parasites, nurtured in a poisoned womb, the worm grows, devouring from within, until the world begins to rot. Not all prophecies come to pass, of course, but we cannot help but fear this dark portent. Okay. Lovely. Go. Cordite. Cordite means super beam. Something behind the wall appears to have been activated. Really? 
Aha, multiple track. Good. Good, good. But Ah, there's a missile expansion up there. Okay, that's that's what we could hear when we came in the room. Doesn't seem to be a way up there. At the moment. I have to come back through in a minute. What is through this section? Missile uh, missile door? Yep. Okay. Lower way through. Things. They're great for farming health and um, missile ammo things, but they're annoying aside from that. Oh, Christ, is these guys again. Stands to reason there'd be more than one of them. More than one room of them, at least. I'm guessing this may have or was supposed to be our first battle with them. I don't think I was meant to face three at a time. But if I beat those three, I can beat this one. Down it goes. And it's done. And we have something else. Some new upgrade for us. Thank you, computer. Identified as statue as the Chozo Elder. According to Chozo lore, these statues served as the watchful guardians of tombs and shrines. Its outstretched hands are empty as if waiting an offering. It's funny because I can see a glowing thing. I'm gonna have a look at it. A new Chozo lore entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Chose a script translated. Things bound to earthly shapes are temporal and frail. Existing in a single dimension, they are fragile, vulnerable, and ultimately mortal. However, not all things obey this law. Shapeless, they wait beyond the realm of perception, emerging only when one arrives who can feel their presence. Such is the will of the Chozo. Our will to defeat the evil seeping into this planet remains. We desire only to see the darkness meet its end. The will of the Chozo has no mind or reasoning of its own, though. This will be the entrusted one's trial. So, puzzle. And since most of these doors are ice based, I'm, or, you know, white ice based, I'm guessing either we can get up there to get out, or we have to find an upgrade in here. Something new. It's a bowling Chozo statue. Excellent. Just what we've always wanted. Ali Yup. Prepared for the mag rail this time round. Fire at the morph ball slot. That's new. Guess we must be able to. Is that fuel covering the slot is comprised of an energy signal that appears to be affected by the cold? So I can only activate one of those icons at the moment, which is the purple one, the wave beam. Is that going to do anything, or would it be better to come back later on? I wonder. Looks like it is worth doing at least once. What is it? Something on the side here as well. The Elder's greatest power lies beyond the second lock. It's not what we've been able to get so far. Okay, so see where this fires us this time round. Open for a strike. Oh. I wonder if this 
just going to lead us back to the other room. Oh, we couldn't get through before. Nope, just past the window and out the other side. It's the only door that we could open in here. What's this? Safety shield offline. Use caution near window. Oh, this window? No, can't even break it. That's a shame. Because there's nothing to break. Doi. Warren. See stone toads and drainage shut off is holding, maintaining the water level of reflecting pool at 95%. 95%. So we're going to have to find a way through. There's something down there. Fractures detected in telluric alloy. Telluric alloy? do with Teloric Ally? Can we do? Can we use that? Yes! Good on regular multiple bombs. And we've pulled the plug. Excellent. Drink cover destroyed. Looks like we're going to have to figure our way best way through here, which I'm going to guess is up to the second level. Stone toads don't bother me too much. We proved in an earlier episode that they do not like having bombs inserted in them. There we go. That was easy. Is this the only one that we can use to get out? No, there's two, but there is one to get through in here. Oh. Ah. Ice beam. White doors are now unlocked to us. Which gives us quite a lot further reach in the Chosen Ruins, certainly. Um, there's a couple of bits, I think, in the Fendrana Drifts that are ice-driven as well. Let's have a quick gander. So we know we've got a couple of doors in the reflecting pool we can deal with. There's one in the Hall of the Elders now. Two in the Hall of the Elders, actually. One in the Furnace, probably links to the Hall of the Elders. One in the Crossway. I think in the Burned Dome, we don't need to go back there ever again. Nothing in Sun Chamber. Still no point in us exploring this area because we don't have the grapple beam. Tower of Light, which we got our Wave Buster upgrade from earlier. Let's have a look in the Talano world. That leads us to the temple which we don't want to explore for now. So there's a couple in the frigate crash site, if we want to go up there. There's an upgrade I could do with beforehand for that, actually. That I remember. Fiery Shores, we didn't explore any further there, so it might be worth us heading in that direction later on. See where it'll lead us. And then the Fendranas. Elders, which we've done. Nothing in Fendrana Canyon, of course. We've still got this section in the Quarantine Cave we can explore, which is probably going to be worth the Guinness. And the Research Core. I think we're probably going to be heading back in that direction once we're finished here. This little baby is quite helpful, uh, it's capable of freezing smaller enemies, um, creating platforms in some circumstances. But we're mainly going to be using it for busting up doors and occasionally where we need to, e save station, um, occasionally where we need to, using it to kill certain types of enemies that aren't affected by anything else. Spoilers. So there's a little morph ball slot here behind me. 
Let's have a look and see what that is first. Ah. On the left, Talon Overworld East. That's handy. We don't want to explore this just yet, but we'll, you know, it's handy to know it's here. It'll be a shortcut back if we need it. Finding the jump on the morph ball useful in certain, certain circumstances, but not in all circumstances. Depends on the camera angle, what's below us, that kind of thing, really. And another lift. This is like Lift Central right here, Talon Overworld South. Is that? Yeah, I think we're going to head ourselves back down to the Hall of the Elders. <coughs> At the very least, that'll have opened a new door for us. A couple of new doors, actually. And we can deal with one of those other panels that we saw earlier. Specifically, the one in the middle. Oh, wolves. Guess who's back? Three of them this time around. Well, they're impervious to ice, so it looks like we're going to have to take them out the old fashioned way. Charge beams, three charge beam shots each. Ah. Screw it up. Oh, for God's sake. Got your number. See, but I know you're there. Cursor changes colour even when they're invisible, so that's kind of handy. Ow, walked right into that one. There you are. There's another one down, two down, one to go. Downstairs. No, we're not onto that platform to the left. I think not. I'm getting tired of this now. Hold on. We're off. Gotcha. Does that still open the new path or not? I'm not sure if the battle with those guys took so long that um, it's kind of thrown me off a little bit, we'll see. I'm going to wrap this episode up in a second. Nope, 
us down, let us down, which, which, ah, oh, there you go, energy tank, good way to finish the episode, I think, so, energy tank in the Hall of the Elders, lovely, that's another nice little upgrade for us, so, we're going to leave this here, underneath the Hall of the Elders, and we'll pick it up next time round, thank you very much for watching, goodbye.